Hi! Geometry nodes can be scary, but by the end of this series, I hope you'll realize that there might not be any reason to fear them after all. Let's get started. After watching episode 1, you know how to do these things, which means we're gonna be making a whole city today. Nah, I'm kidding, we're not quite there yet. We're gonna start by distributing points on faces. I'm using an icosphere just because I like it more. I'm also just gonna apply smooth shading. Okay, now we're ready. Split your window into two parts and open the Geometry Node Editor like we did in Episode 1. Add a new Geometry Node tree. Here are the nodes you'll need to use. Instance on points, distribute points on faces, join geometry and object info. When you connect this node and increase the density, something unfortunate happens. The points will end up overlapping. There's a way to fix that, however. Switch this to Poisson Disk instead and set a minimum distance. you'll notice that you no longer have the original object. That's where the Join Geometry node comes in handy. Connect the first node to the second node like this and connect the second node to the Join Geometry node. When connecting the object info, you should notice that you didn't add an extra object in the start if you've been doing what I've been doing. You should add one now. Once that's done, just move it aside. Now select the object you've just added in the object info node. Let's scale it down a bit. You can either do this or scale down the object in the viewport and apply the scale. I'll show you both ways for now. Connect the rotation to the rotation to fix the rotation. That's a funny sentence. Congrats! That's how you distribute objects on faces on other objects. Thanks for watching 